Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Weekly Builds. Today I'm going to continue work on this area as we've done recently. We've got the train track ballasting done, we've got the barrier gates here in place. So the only thing that's left to do is just improve this station here. This is the official one from the new downtown tram set and I'm going to use this and kind of create my own, which I've already digitally designed. So let's take a look at that. And this is what I've got. It does look a bit plain and basic because I haven't put all the finer details on there. You know, I'll just wait to do that in person. But it is just a platform, you know. It, it's, it's a train platform. They're not that exciting, are they, really? But I just wanted to kind of do it myself and just make it a little bit larger. And I really wanted to include the yellow line for the stripe. And doing this uses up a lot more parts, but, you know, I think it's worth it just for that nice, subtle detail. It's so... just It's just nice. I like it. And then behind it is going to have this masonry wall here just to kind of build it up a little bit. And that way it's kind of consistent with the official LEGO City train station set from 2022, which I plan to use somewhere else in my city, kind of on the other side. So it's kind of to have that consistent colour scheme as well. We've got the ramp here going up to it from that downtown tram set. And then just a little flower bed outside. And you've got the grey fence here, which does look a little bit out of place. Well, in-universe, this was like a late edition put in for safety reasons probably by the local council to stop people from like just falling off the sidewalk onto the track and stop trespassing and things so it is supposed to look out of place and a bit well not right because that's kind of how these things happen in real life and they thought oh let's put a flower bed in front of it and that way it looks nice but really it probably doesn't look that great now i need to see what parts i've already got and which ones i need to buy and then if I put the parts this into Bricklink, as you can see, there's 29 different parts. And if I go to the buy all and auto select, what's it going to come up with? So if I wanted to buy all the parts brand new condition, it's going to cost me £35 before postage from four different stores. So hopefully with most of the parts I've already got, I should either have to pay nothing and not order anything because I'll already have it. Or I'll only have to order a small handful of things, which is much better. So it does mean I have to take apart this platform here, but that's fine. I'm still going to use this building. That's still going to go on there. And same with these finer details. They're going to go back on the platform. But I think most of these plates is what I need as well and some other things. So that's good. I've got most of it already, I think. Well, I've taken the platform apart, separated out the parts so I can sort them away and take out what I need. And I've already started out taking some of the parts, like I said, like the big plates and things. So that's handy to have. Firstly, apologies if you can hear the rain. It's really kind of raining today. It's such a horrible day. I'm glad I'm inside. So I went through my parts and ticked off the wanted list. I've now got 63% of the parts that I need for my platform. So if I go to buy all and see what the auto select brings up. And okay, I can complete everything I need from two stores for £25 before postage. So probably about £30, including postage, I would say. So... A little bit pricey, but you know, you've got to pay for the details. Yep, look at that, £30, £60. I'm getting good at these guesses. I guess that goes to show that I end up using Bricklink more than I probably should. But whilst I wait to get some more parts, I did find a good deal of a new LEGO City set, and it is public transport related. And it looks like it's a consistent colour scheme because it's the new downtown double-decker sightseeing bus pretty cool set and it was i got this in asda here in the uk they had it down to 15 pounds which is 10 pounds off and i wanted to pay about 15 pounds for it i was hoping argos would have it for two for 30 because i wanted to get two of them and i did because i'm gonna make it into a more traditional double decker bus and it's not really gonna be a sightseeing bus it's just gonna be like a regular everyday double decker bus so expect a review and then modification videos on these coming out real soon but whilst I was in Asda doing a bit of shopping, I thought, oh, what else have they got? Well, I picked up more of my trusty containers, which I use to organise my Lego parts in, because I don't have that big of a parts collection, and these containers are just really handy. 16 containers here, £2, crystal clear, nice, cheap, affordable. Not a sponsor, George at home, but, you know, that's what I recommend. And they also had some of these, which are traditionally, well, baking trays for your oven, but obviously we're not here doing any oven cooking. I decided that I needed a little tray just so, you know, when I'm working with a part, sometimes it's easy to tip out all the container. And then if I had it all on a desk, it went everywhere and it fell on the floor and things. So I was like, oh, let's get a little tray. This pack of three was really, really cheap. So I can just pull the parts on there. At least it's got a nice little edge just so I don't lose track of my parts. So I thought, wow. What a simple but genius idea. So there you go, folks. Don't spend lots of money getting a plastic tray or like a wooden tray or whatever. Just get a pack of oven trays because they're really cheap. 
and you can just use that to keep your parts nice and organized when you tip them out so yeah it's a simple but effective choice i think and here is a little tease for what's coming up in a future video i guess you have to stay subscribed for that what's hiding behind the buildings much 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 later in case you didn't know i actually try and film most of the videos at least a couple of weeks in advance just so i have a nice little backlog so it's been a little while since i've done any work on the city because i ran out of parts like i said well here we are time skip i got some parts to do quite a few projects which is always a good thing so i'm gonna open up my brooklink hall get out the parts i need to finish off this train platform now i've got all the parts i need all organized and i can start getting to work and this is what we're going for i might have shown this off in the previous video i might not but here it is again it is rather plain looking at the moment. I didn't add all the details in the digital design. I just wanted to get the basic foundations in place. This is what I'm going for. Oh, if it can focus. There we go. So we've got a little walkway area there, a little flower bed leading up to the ramp to the main platform area, which will incorporate the building from the city tram set and a couple of benches and things like that on there. Yeah, it looks pretty basic, pretty plain, but this is only the beginning of the grand scheme, the grand plan, because... Eventually, when the city expands and there will be kind of another table where I'm sitting now, actually, there will be the main part of the train station, which is based off two of the LEGO City recent train stations from 2022, I believe. And I already have those, and this is the plan for the future. I did want to have that main train station building on this side, but there just wasn't enough space for it. So I thought, okay, this kind of works because some local train stations that I've seen have their main building on one side and just a small basic platform on the other. So we're starting off with that. And this is a better look at what the end goal for the train station area is. So obviously we're on this side here, we've got the roads in place, and then this is part of the new area, which will probably won't happen till you know, next year, 2025. But it's good to have those plans in place and just some trees and some greenery down the end. They just give it a splash of colour from looking rather grey at the moment. But yeah, you know, it's not every detail included here. It's just a rough idea of how things are going to look. And I'll show this off more in depth when we get actually closer to the time. But this is what it looks like from the back of the main train station building. So I have kind of closed off. There's a little pull-in drive-in area for drop-offs and taxis and buses and things. But for today, this is what we're going to do. So first things first, I need to clear the area and this train will have to depart the station. Choo-choo. Careful it doesn't go off the edge. Oh, that's dangerous. And here we have a nice clean slate for the area that we're going to work with. Like I said, this building is going to go back onto the platform along with some benches and bins and timetables and things like that. Let's get building. Here we are so far, got the main platform built, the little ramp leading up to it, the fence and the flower beds. Yeah, this is going well. But before I firmly pop it into place, I need to take it up and do adjustments to some of these tiles along here. Because I need to put in these plates instead, the 2x2 two two with the studs on. So I can install the masonry wall which goes behind the platform. The back wall is now in place. I can pop in the ramp and the fencing here. And then pop in a few extra tiles. I've tied off this area here. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to tile off every open area or walkway in my city. Like I did for the main sidewalk, obviously, but for example, this area here, I don't know if I'm going to tile that off yet. I don't mind having studs on show. For example, we've got the platform here. I'm not tiling all this off. This is going to remain studded. But I figured that kind of made sense given the corner that it's in, so I did tile it off. Got the ramp leading up. And then with that nice yellow stripe, that does look pretty good. Although because of the way I did it, it does mean that there is this row of studs showing underneath, which I could squeeze in a tile and then there would still be a slight gap, but I'm not too bothered. 
you know, once there's a train in there, you're not really going to see it anywhere, and it just adds a little bit of texture. Like I said, I don't mind studs being on show. So let's add back in some of the other details, and it's pretty much finished for now. And here we go. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. It looks pretty good. It's exactly what I had in mind, and just like my digital design. So I'm very happy with how things turned out. It is still a little bit narrow to walk through past this little kiosk here, but at least that's true to the original set that this is based from. Yeah, I might add a couple more benches and things at the moment. The details are just quite spread out, but there's at least there's plenty of standing space. And I don't know about you, but I've been to some train platforms where there is only like one bench. So yeah, you might have to stand. And it looks a little bit unfinished here because I'm going to work on this area at a later date. So don't worry, it's not just going to be like a drop off there. There is going to be some nice things going on and that building is going to be closed up and things. So that, all that is still to come in the future. But for now, this train station is ready. Well, that's pretty much it for this LEGO City update. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and drop a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, then please do consider subscribing because as you can see, there's a lot more city space to work on and you don't want to miss out on that. And I think next time I might be working on some things for the beach. So that'll be pretty fun. Thanks again and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel or on one of my other channels as well. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends.